And welcome back, everyone, to its last call. Last call with the alcohol only on it is the last call YouTube channel. Now, join me on the line is Ben here. Well, a lot of people who follow European boxing say he is one of the dark horses in the heavyweight division. Uh, and he was 16 and 0, 13 knockouts. And well, <clears throat> when you're only 26 years old, a lot of people have high hopes for this young man. I give you former Ukrainian national champion now residing in Karlsruhe, Baden-Württemberg, Germany. I give you it is the undefeated knockout sensation. I give you Vladislav Serenko. Uh, Vlad, let's start off here with uh, 16 and 0, 13 knockouts. Has is there as you have you had it in your mind? Have you had a tough fight yet? Has there been any? opponent that you've had that has given you any kind of trouble uh to be honest uh fight very tough in the preparation you know because uh when you go into the ring you did so much work before and uh everything was happening in the ring it's, it's just uh kind of work what you done in a training camp um I don't think that I have such a tough opponents before, but all my training camps, all my preparation, I was always working hard and I always was doing a good job and uh, to get myself in a good shape and be ready for the fight. Take me to your last fight. It was you versus Camille Sokolowski. Yeah, that fight went the distance at the Akko International in Kiev. Uh, what went right? Did anything go wrong in that fight for you? What did you take out of that fight? Like, what do you feel you improved on from the previous fight? Uh, <clears throat> Camille is a very experienced fighter, you know. He was fighting the big names. Yes, he was losing. He didn't have a perfect record. He was losing a lot of fights. But still, he's a very experienced guy. He's a very tough guy. And uh, for me, it was fight to get experience to get rounds in my back you know oh sorry uh, to get rounds in my back uh, and uh, it will help me in the future i'm sure all of that experience what i'm getting from this kind of guys now let's we get point out that you have a new train your trainer is james ali bashir and he's worked with guys like Alexander Usyk, Eddie Chambers, Monty Barrett. How, is he happy right now with your last performances? I mean, when you and him sit down and, you know, you go over the tape, is he happy with the way you've been improving from fight to fight? Uh, you know, every fight, uh, me, my coach, all of the team, we're not always happy. We're not always successful. We're always looking for kind of opportunity to get better, better, better. I really don't know what kind of fight I must do to make everyone happy. We're always looking for some mistakes, for some problems. Of course, every performance is very different, you know. One can go very good. One can go a bit more, uh, more not good. I, I don't know, but... We we get the rounds, we uh, we get a win. Bashir uh, was pushing me to get the stoppage, but I cannot get a stoppage. Maybe he was not very happy about it. But we get the rounds, we get experience. You know. How much do you have to sometimes take a step back? Because I'm looking at where you are in the world. You're 26 years old still. I mean, there's most, most fighters in the headweight ranks are in their 30s. Some of them are in their, you know, close to nearly 40. How much for you is this about just growing, you know, becoming more comfortable at the pro ranks, becoming more comfortable, you know, fighting guys who are more veterans, who know how to make fights look ugly. Um, every fight for me, I'm making a big 
big i'm getting a big knowledge from that you know it's not just about the fight inside the ring because you're getting different styles you get in different uh, manners and stuff, you know. Um, it's also about uh, preparation before fight. It's about uh, your mental uh, health, let's call it like that. Where, how you get in, uh, in the ring and how ready you are. Uh, in the past couple of fights, I mean in 2020, I wasn't very happy about all of my fights, I had two fights, and um, I think I performed very, very bad because I was very stressed. All of this corona stuff, you know, um, make me very down, and uh, I wasn't feeling good uh, about my performances. But now, um, and I get some kind of experience that, you know, boxing, it's not about how strong you are. It's uh, mental right here, you know, and uh, every fight, every preparations, it's very important for me because I'm learning, I'm getting experience and uh, I'm pretty sure it will help me a lot uh, in the future fights. When I will go more higher, um, I will get the tougher opponents, you know. How tough was it for you this past year where... COVID threw a lot of everything in the monkey wrench. It threw a monkey wrench on everything. And I, when I say that, usually I'm guessing you'd be sparring with last year probably world champions. You'd be working out probably with guys like Usyk, guys like Hrogovic, probably even Tyson Fury. And because of COVID, a lot of guys didn't fight. A lot of training camps didn't happen. You weren't able to travel up. How much do you look at the early part of last year as sort of a lost year because you couldn't do a lot of things because of COVID restrictions? Uh, honestly, it was very terrible for everyone, for for me, uh, for sport, you know, for boxing. Um, it was so many shows, so many fights canceled. You know, it's very bad uh, for our industry. But I mean, for all world, it was terrible. Um, I was preparing for my fight in the March, and just one week we was getting ready to fly to Germany, and they cancel a fight because it was starting quarantine, you know, and all of this stuff, and it was terrible because I was um, I was ready for the fight. I spent a lot of time, a lot of money, a lot of everything you know for getting ready for my fight and i was ready and one week before you like cancel you know it's terrible and uh, later we was planning so many fights in 2020 but i i did just like two fights you know and it was local guys from ukraine uh i'm i wasn't very happy with uh with the fights, but we 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 get it, you know. We we need to we need to go. We cannot stop. We must fight to prove to prove myself, you know. And um, it was very very tough year for me and for all world. Take me to the team. Who I mean, we mentioned James Ali Bashir is your trainer, which <clears throat> top top flight trainer. Who else is part of Team Serenko? Who is the manager, the promoter, the cut man? Like, who are the people that you surrounded yourself to help you get to that next level? Uh, we have a big team, you know. It's so many names who is helping us. Uh, we have a promoter. We have a manager. I have a coach. I have a second coach. I have a... Uh, guy who is uh, giving me a massage, you know. We have a guy who is looking for my food, uh, who is looking for medicine, a doctor, you know. So many staff and so many people working uh, with me. Um, and all of them very professional. I'm very happy with, uh, with my team, you know. Um, I just need to work and uh, prove myself. 
for do you ever get I don't want to say jealous, but envious of other fighters in your division who, because of, you know, luck, they have just maybe a bigger push because they were in the right Olympics. They were in the right place. Guys like Philippe Hergovic, guys like Tony Yoka, guys even like uh, Daniel Dubois. But either they had that sexy, you know, sort of, following behind them, they had that push. You're a guy that sort of is still flying under the radar. Do you ever get frustrated that these guys have something that you, you would love, but you just don't have it yet, which is that popularity? Um, no, I just need to work hard and my time will come, you know. Um, Maybe that's all what I can say. Yeah, of course, uh, I want more. I want to get a better. I want to get more and more uh, success uh, and all those things, you know. But I must work work hard for that. And one day it will come. I just need to be ready for that, to take opportunity, you know. If you're just tuning in, people, once again, we got its rising heavyweight contender, Vlad Serenko on the show. We're talking all things, of course, his team, his last couple of fights. We're talking a lot of big things here for this young man. I got to talk about the Instagram page because you're you're very active here. We had, I mean, it shows a lot of personality here with you because, you know, we see a lot of fighting picks and then there's stuff of you and your dog. You, you know, support, you know, the local hockey team here, you know, you, you're now, you know, you doing outside stuff. How much, who is, you know, who is sort of the guy outside the ring? Like, what are some of the things that you do that you just, you know, do for fun so that you can keep that sort of mental zen? Uh, you know, I love sports, any sport, and uh, I'm very involved in um, different kind of sports, you know, like soccer, like ice hockey like any kind of sport, tennis. I'm very interested in all of that. And uh, when I'm uh, out from my sport, from a boxing, of course, I'm very interested in, in sport. I'm following everything. I'm looking for, for everything, you know. And, um, yeah, I really enjoy sport in my life. But uh, in the same moment... Uh, I still studying, you know, it's also very interesting for me. I like to study a lot, you know, to get the new information. And um, because I'm pretty sure I like to travel as well. I think it's kind of education to, uh, to see how is, um, different people live in different nations and stuff. You know, it's very, very interesting for me. Uh, yeah, I uh, my Instagram page. I'm posting a lot of things there because uh, I think my uh, people who supporting me will enjoy watching uh, my daily routines. You know what I'm doing out from a training. You know, and I have people who is helping me to manage a page. You know, I'm not doing all of this stuff myself. Now, before we let you go, we gotta talk about the dog. It's, there's a picture of you, a gym, and a dog named Floyd. Uh, why Floyd? I mean, I've heard of Rex, Spot, uh, Butch. Never heard of a dog named Floyd. So, how did this all come about? And what's the story between you and this uh, very, very content but huge pit bull? Uh, Floyd, it's not my personal dog. It's a dog of my of my good friend, you know, and he's very very nice dog. I really enjoy every time when I see him. I really enjoy enjoying him, you know. Uh, why his name is Floyd? I really really don't know. Maybe <laughs> honestly, I don't know. Maybe it's something around boxing because as this friend of mine, he is also involved in boxing. But I have no idea why is Floyd. His name is Floyd. I really don't know. I have another dog, but he's living in Africa. His name is Fritz. It's my dog. I was buying him, and uh, 
I was growing him and I sent him to Africa because I was staying in Africa before, but all 2020 I wasn't travel because Corona. And I didn't sell my dog also for one year. It's very sad for me. Hopefully you and Fritz will be reunited. It's all, it all comes down, as you said, to this year. And I'm guessing you and your team are, you're looking around, you want a big fight. And there's a lot of guys <clears throat> I'm guessing you'd look at, whether it's Christian Hammer, whether it's uh, Marius Wach, even a guy, you know, probably, you know, I'm guessing you've had your eye on for quite some time, Sergei Kuzman. Uh, when do you expect to get that next fight? You know, that fight where... You're, you might get tested, where you might actually have to fight somebody who they believe they can beat you. They believe that, you know, they're better than you, and you might have to, you know, have that sort of fight where you find out, you know, how much what you're made of. When do you hope to get that big fight? I hope it will happen in years future, you know. Maybe this year, not maybe, I hope so. We will have uh, uh, guys with uh, good names in the boxing, you know that I can prove myself and I can show everything what I can because the better your opponent, the better I can uh, show myself all my skills and, and everything what I have, you know. And I'm also looking forward to fight with uh, good good guys uh, who can give me a good fight, you know, and we can make a good uh, show for people, for, for fans, you know. I really hope it will happen in near future. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, we are proud to have on the show. I have to give you one of the rising young heavyweight prospects in this sport. I give you it's Vlad Serenko. Uh, Vlad, before I let you go, where can the fans check you out? I mean, where is the Instagram, the Twitter, the website? Where can fans contact you at? Uh, you can follow me in my Instagram. I think I'm, I'm more active there. Uh, and also I'm very active in Facebook. It's a two pages where you can get all information about me and you can follow me there. Vlad Serenko, ladies and gentlemen, once again, we are proud to have him on the show. Uh, stay tuned for more great action coming up only on it is Last Call. Last Call with the alcohol. Only on it is the last call YouTube channel.